Tick, tack, tick, tack, I'm a watchmaker. I'm more a coffee person. I love actually Italy, to have for sure Singapore, you know, to see them laughing and, uh, and playing, you know. Well, for sure, the, the two of us. But, you know, it was really something uh, outstanding at the time to go in this third dimension. So it was, it was really breaking rules, pushing boundaries to break through the atomic skills. And honestly, I collect clocks, 10. For me, the Uwarak collection is also my collection. So we keep one or two of each little baby. So to sit here with you in this interview. Hey, you know, it's each baby is very important to me at Uwarak. Usually we take two years, but we have also projects like uh, the EMC or the, the pocket watch, the, the Zeit device. It can take up to five, five years. You know, just being myself in any situation in life. On the side of Uhrwerk, it was actually to stop the very first editions of 101 and 102 to say, okay, we stop producing this and we do only 103. For me, actually, to get a prize in Geneva, um, we, we got now three prizes, is in the same time the highest and the lowest moment. Probably not. You know, we went to summer vacations with the ferry to Corsica. So it's a big ferry where you load the, your, your, your car on, the, on. And actually my first idea was to become a captain in this big boat. When Anderson, you know, he told me, okay, where do you have your dossier, where, where, where your CV and uh, your letter where you can, actually you are asking to get a, a watchmaker in my atelier and I just left him my, my phone number and said this is all I have and finally he called me up two days later so I was lucky. So we, ha we have for sure we, we, we have a, a lot of fights um, and we put actually engineers in between us so it gives kind of a filter you know and then we, we can also beat the engineers so we don't beat each other directly anymore so we beat so so that helps actually to stand out. Yeah.